I've got about 34 gigabytes remaining on my hard drive. So, walking around, headed over to Canada Computers, playing a little bit of Pokemon Go while going there, buy a hard drive. It's actually $5 cheaper than to buy it on Amazon, so why not? Yeah, while I'm walking around, I do my first raid battle in Pokemon Go. Uh, I was the only one here, but I, I don't know, maybe it was an easy one, because I did it fine all along. Then I even uh, caught the thing, so that was kind of neat. Alright, now I'm back home. Got a, looking at my computer now, super dusty. It's been a while since I've cleaned it. It's got dust everywhere. Give this a little bit of a vacuum. And open her up and like, oh, yeah, even more dust. Maybe I should have gotten a, like a compressed air can thing. Anyways, here's the, the thing that'll hold my hard drive. And there's the actual hard drive. Yeah, these things are a little bit weird. You kind of like just bend them and then snap a, snap the pegs into where they would get like screwed into place in an older case. And then just gotta slide in that hard disk and boom. Easy peasy, right? Well, not quite. I gotta still uh, plug in the power and. Um, I don't know, maybe there's an easier way of doing this, but I didn't notice it right away. But basically, I'm gonna undo this zip tie, and then I want to have this power part plug be plugged into it. But obviously I can't do that, because it's reaching from the left to the right, and the, on the right is my, uh, my solid state drive. And this cable isn't really long enough to connect all three because it only has three ports thingers on it. So I'm thinking well I could maybe I have a, a different cable that's better. That's why I can't get rid of this cable box. And there's another cable that has uh, the matching power parts of it. So I just uh, get this stinger out here. I'm like all right well let's have a look at it. I was kind of hoping that it would just be like an extender thing, but it's not. It would have to replace that cable, I'm pretty sure. So, instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to unscrew that from the right side. And then I'm going to put it in on the left side over here. That way the cord won't have to like go from the, the right to the left. It'll just all be on the left. And luckily it fits. It's like long enough. I plug all that stuff in and uh, then I feed the SATA cable through into the front and uh, it's all good again. Yeah, it kind of took a long time and uh, I don't know what it is about working on computers but I always get sweaty like all these little screws and stuff. Yeah, still uh, pretty dusty. I mean like I did what I could for it, but that's just how it is. And then, uh, oh man, maybe I should have taken the time to do some cable management since everything, since I like unplugged everything, but F it, you know? I'll just Everything's just tangled up back there. And yeah, power's on okay. Oh god. I used to think that blue lights were cool, but now I, I hate them. Like, it's too much light. I'd rather it just be dark. Because it bothers me when I'm trying to sleep. So yeah, I turned on my computer and I'm like, oh, where's my drive? I thought it would just be there, but... I watched a, a tutorial that's like, oh, now you gotta go into this administrative tools and then open up this, like, disk manager thing. 
where it can see your disk and then you set it up and here we go I named it the Q drive for the quest and I've started to back up the uh, the old quest videos made some spaghetti still doing its thing that took like eight hours to transfer the like terabyte of quest footage and uh, yeah everything's backed up now just making some uh, sweet tea but uh, I haven't deleted it from the other hard drive yet I figured I should at least test the new drive for like a week or so before I'll delete it off the old one and uh, yeah here's some of that sweet tea that I made this is kind of dark <laughs> <laughs>